Hey guys. Um, this is day six of percentages. This is the day that we start the of the remainder word problems. So I'm going to run you through just a little bit of review really quick. Um, mostly leave this up to you to do on your own and check. So at the top of your page it says percentage means um, out of 100. You should fill that in right now. On this slide or the top of your notes what I want you to do is write the following as fractions and then simplify. So you should go ahead and pause the video and then come back and check your work. All right. Here are the answers. Okay. On this next section, you're going to write these numbers as fractions. The first one I'll do with you, we have 38. It's not a fraction, it's just a whole number. So to write it as a fraction, we just write it over 1. I want you to go ahead and do the rest of these on the screen or on your notes, please. All right, now you have a, um, a couple little fill in the blanks at the bottom of your page. It says, in math, of means something and out of means something. Go ahead and fill that in and then come back and check your work. All right, hopefully you meant, you filled in, excuse me, that of means to multiply and out of means to divide. All right, in this section, we are going to practice writing equations. We're not going to solve them quite yet. So let me show you how we would write these. 15% of 22 would be 15 um, fraction bar 100, so 15 out of 100 times 22 out of 1, right? Because 22 is a whole number. Do the next four. Um, so pause the video, do the next four, and then come back and check your work. All right, hopefully you wrote something like this for these. Okay, now when we get to this, these last three, we're looking at writing equation for a percent of a percent. So this is going to look quite a bit different than the ones you just wrote. So if we're going to set this up correctly, we need to write 30%, so 30% of 45%. That's a different ball game, isn't it? And then 50% of 50%. Do the last one before you check you should have 80% of 50%. Okay, on this slide I would like you to write the equation and to solve it and then come back and check your work. See if you were right. Notice that on this first one you're finding 50% of 75. So you're going to set it up like that. Okay, hopefully you got 37.5. Now this next one is 50% of 75%, so you need to set it up correctly. All right, and if you solved, you would have gotten 37.5%. Here we have 30% of 20. And we get the number 6. Now we're finding 30% of 20%. And we get 6%. Okay, we are ready for some word problems. Ashley spent 20% of her money on a desk and 30% of the remaining on a chair. What percent of her total money did she spend on a chair? Okay, let's draw a bar model. So what the question that we're asking is what percent of this remaining did she spend on a chair? So if she spent 20% on a desk, that means she has 80% left to spend on something of her original money. Then our word problem is telling us that she spent 30% of that remainder on a chair. So let's set this up to solve. We want to find out what percent of her total money she spent on that chair. So we've gonna, we're going to find 30% of 80%. And we want to end up with a percentage, right? Because that's what our word problem is asking for. If we look back up here. So we need to have something over 100. So if we were to multiply that out, we'd get 24%. Let's do Caitlin's word problem. Caitlin spent 15% of her allowance on candy and 50% of the remaining on music. We want to find out what percentage of her money did she spend on music. So if she spent 15% of her allowance on candy, she had 85% left to spend on other stuff. Of that remainder, she spent 50% on music. 
we want to know what percentage of her original money that was. So we're going to find 50% of 80%, 85, excuse me. So we're going to set it up like that. And then when we multiply everything out, we're going to get 42.5%. Okay, now we want to find out how much Ashley spent on a chair. So if Ashley spent 20% of her money on a desk and 30% of the remaining on a chair, let's just stop for a second. She spent 20% of her money on a desk. That means she has 80% of her original chunk of money left. Of that money, she spent 30% on a chair. Then our word problem tells us that Ashley originally had $150. Now we want to find out a dollar amount for this 30% of the remainder. So we've already, we already found out what percent that was. Now we want to find a dollar amount. Okay, so we already knew that it was 24%, but we need to find 24% of $150. So we're going to set that up like that. And we're going to do that math, and we're going to find out that Ashley spent $36 on a chair. Okay, um, this next one is similar. So Caitlin spent 15% of her allowance on candy. That's up here. Let's stop there for a second. That means she had 85% left of her original chunk to spend on something. Of that, she then spent 50% on music. Now we've already figured out what 50% of 85% is, right? We did that. In that last word problem, we found that it was 42.5%. Well, our word problem also tells us that she had $50 to start with. So this whole bar up here equaled $50 originally. We want to know how much she spent on music, so we're going to find 42.5% of $50. Okay, so we're going to set it up like that, and we're going to do the math, and we're going to find that she spent $21.25 on music. Okay, you guys also have a Toyo on um, these notes, and I'm going to show you in another video um, in the future a slightly different way for figuring out these of the remainder problems, okay? But for now, go ahead and do that Toyo, and um, I'll just tell you right now that um, when it says what percentage of the money did she have left, you're going to need to find 75% of 70%, okay? So that's a little clue for you on that Toyo. All right, that's it.